Hi there, Phil again. This tip is on terraces. I define a terrace as something which is accessed immediately off the house, has some form of canopy or shelter over the top, and also is at the same level as the house floor. Now it may be that your house is at ground level and so therefore it immediately transits from it. However, if the house is on a slope, it drops away beyond the house or else it's up on piles as my house is, then the terrace is normally elevated to the height of the house and then it would normally be floored with decking as is my case here or perhaps with terracotta tiles or something similar. Now I've got a range of outdoor sitting areas on my property, five of them in fact. But the terrace is actually the one that I use the most and in fact probably use it more than all of the others put together. The reason for this is, is because it is accessed immediately from the house so it's very convenient and also it is sheltered from the overhead sun and rain and weather and it also is protected from the wind. It is sheltered in my situation mainly by my house which actually shelters from the prevailing wind but it might be through um, trees etc and I do have some sheltering trees which do help to protect this area. In fact it is actually quite windy today but it is actually quite sheltered here but you wouldn't want to sit outside. So in summer I have the overhead canopy so you're protected from the full sun and it is cooler and in winter it is actually protected and so it is actually warmer. It is a bit like a house in the sense that it protects you from the worst of the elements. <music> Now a terrace should ideally be oriented towards the sun. In my situation here I purchased this house on the basis that the backyard of the house is actually facing towards the sun but not actually directly so where I'm sitting now the sun is actually on that angle there. So I get early morning sun and then sun in the middle of the day and then it basically loses it in the afternoon. However in summer that actually makes it more pleasant because you're sheltered from the worst of the heat of the sun and in winter it still is actually a very pleasant environment even though the sun has gone from this area because it has warmed up a bit. This avoids it becoming a full sun trap. Integration with the house and also other landscape features is certainly useful. It's aesthetically pleasing if the terrace aligns with the dimensions of any adjacent structures, typically the house. For example, it might run the full length of the back of the house rather than stopping part way along. The doorway onto the terrace can be very wide since this improves indoor outdoor flow, in fact my back door is three and a half meters wide, the exit from the terrace to the garden can also be of a handsome width inviting exploration of the garden and also additional seating for garden visitors. I mentioned before that the surface of the terrace is usually either wood or tiles, not usually pavers. The material whichever you use should coordinate well with that of the interior flooring. A terrace usually has some form of veranda or pergola overhead. This can be clad with a clear weatherproof material, either acrylic or glass. The material can be tinted to reduce heat when the sun is at its peak, but bear in mind that this will make the house darker. Since the terrace is open-sided, it is generally well ventilated, and in fact, when I had the veranda put on my terrace, I didn't actually have any tinting put into it at all. Alternative overhead protection could be provided by providing a vine over the structure, although a vine can be hard to maintain and can actually create a mess, so I generally wouldn't recommend it, or you could leave the veranda open. The terrace is often the best space on your property for outdoor living, as I've found. It has good access to and from the house, it's sheltered from the elements, warm on cold days and cooler on hot days. Having outdoor furniture, either couches or a dining setting adds greatly to the functionality of the terrace. Since the terrace usually has an overhead covering, the furniture doesn't have to be rainproof. The light will be stronger than in the house, so any fabric should be fade resistant. Having an attractive furniture setting also improves the outlook from the house. I'm actually part of a small group of gardeners of similar age. We get together every month at each other's properties, and in each case we have a terrace that we can sit out on and we can have our coffee and our morning tea and it is a very pleasant situation to sit and talk about gardening and landscaping topics. Terraces are generally a great place to grow container plants as they're protected from the full sun and frost. Large pots can usually be accommodated on a terrace and hanging baskets add to the ambience. Since the terrace is attached to the house 
Watering and feeding of the plants is simplified. If the terrace is a long one, you can strategically place plants along it to divide it into several distinct spaces or effectively different garden rooms. The area directly beyond the terrace is an excellent place to have flower gardens which may include herbs, other plants with scented foliage or flowers. The benefits are emphasised when the beds are raised, bringing the plants close to the users of the terrace. So you can see in my case here, I actually have raised gardens along the rear of my terrace as well as the pot plants on the terrace and that does help to bring the gardening environment closer to where I'm sitting, which is always pleasant. Also, my terrace does flow down through either a ramp or steps directly onto my patio area where I have additional seating areas, also a water feature and artworks. And so it becomes part of the transition from the house into the garden. It integrates them together, greatly improves the functionality and attractiveness of the property. So that's it for this tip. I hope you got something of value out of this and hopefully you can either develop a terrace onto your house or maybe adapt the one that you already have and improve its usefulness to yourself and also the value to your property. Just a reminder to like this tip and also subscribe if you haven't done so and share this with others. This helps my channel to grow. And of course, as always, thank you very much for watching this through to the end.